Hey you guys and welcome back today for part two of my fall clean and decorating videos. I'm so excited to bring you guys this one. Today we are going to be doing the living area as well as more places around the house such as the bathrooms but I am so excited guys. It came out so cozy. If you watched the first one you know that's the vibe I'm going for. It's cozy and I'm just in love. This is my first year decorating for fall because a whole list of things happened the first two falls. I was in my whole, um, my own home. So everything that I got this year is all new and I just cannot wait to share it with you guys all. Um, I did do a deep clean of my sofa previously. So I cleaned all the cushions. They are removable cushions. I know some people that are new here might not know that and like say, how does she have... A white couch with a toddler they are removable cushion covers so I went ahead and cleaned all of them as well as I fluff them before um, I even decorated for this new season and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and take out all the decor that I'm not using I already took out all the greenery I'm taking out that wall decor my husband took it off for me because it was super hard to take off but I'm taking that off because I'm gonna replace that with a fall sign and we're gonna get this all cleaned up before we put any new decor and then we are gonna start decorating you guys so I'll catch up with you guys when we start <music> So the first thing I'm doing is putting this hello fall sign from Hobby Lobby above my sofa. I always like changing this area up per season. So for Christmas, um, spring, and so on, I love doing it. I feel like it just sets the tone for the rest of the room. And I did get that half off, so it was such a great deal. And now I'm going to put my pillows for this year and my throw, the brown throw with the braids or the tassels I got from Amazon. I'm in love with this. It's such good quality. It was 30 bucks, and I could not find something similar in store for some reason this year. Um, a lot of fall pillows and throws were so hard to find. So I was so excited to find this one on Amazon. It came super quick, so I'll have that linked below. And then this floral pillow that I'm going to put is from Target. It's their Studio McGee collection, and I'm in love. It's the only thing I was able to get from Studio McGee. And then the brown suede one is from Hobby Lobby. I got it for 50% off when their pillows, rugs, and throws were on sale. and chairs I had these pillows here from Target since I moved in and if you're an OG here then you know when I decorated this entire living room um, a lot of people say they're too big for these chairs but I just love the size I didn't want much of the back showing so anyways I wanted to change them up and add color so I had a variety of pillow covers that I got from Amazon I decided to go with the orange ones they're like a knit texture and I think it kind of off throws the brown a bit I did also have brown ones but I ended up using that in my bedroom which will you will, you will see in um a future video but you guys can let me know down below if you would think the brown or the orange would have looked better here now I'm just showing you guys all my vases that are going in the living room. This um, tinted one is from Target. The tall amber one is from Hobby Lobby and the two small pumpkin amber ones are from the Target dollar spot last year that I snagged. All of my florals are going to be from Hobby Lobby and I kind of just mix them up. If you watch my first video, then you know I did a lot of these arrangements as well. So I just put, I try to keep it a lot of mustards and oranges and browns. And I'm in love with 
what I did here. For the small ones, I just added dried florals and then added some florals in that so it looks like a little bouquet. So these will be going on my side tables and I kind of wanted to offset them a bit so for the other one I added in like orangey red flowers and the uh, this one I did purple flowers and I just think they look kind of similar but also different so I'm in love with them. And then this was the messiest one I did which is why I didn't show you the process because dried florals from Hobby Lobby could be um, <laughs> very messy so I did get the dried florals. Um, another thing you guys should know is that the dried florals are not part of fall. Um, the rest of the colored ones are so they're 40% off but the dried florals you have to wait until their regular florals are 50% off so that is what I did so I just did another little arrangements and this is how they all came out and now we're gonna do the mantle and decorate everything else but first I wanted to thank Teddy Blake for sponsoring this portion of today's video you guys know that I shared Teddy Blake with you a few videos ago in my bedroom makeover and I got their ivy bag which is marketed as a mom bag I'm in love with it it's real leather so Teddy Blake is a company that sells designer handbags that are made in the same factories as other large companies that you may know but they take out the price tag just for the name so you get amazing quality bags and this has held up so so well you guys I keep so much stuff in here honestly should have bursted by now because sometimes I have so much in that the zipper should barely close but it just glides so smoothly the leather is amazing it's perfectly intact from when I first got it which was an amazing experience they're having a huge summer sale right now with up to 70% off bags so I'll leave all the links and information in the description in case you guys are interested so now back to decorating we're going to be spreading out all the florals that i made which in my opinion is what finishes a space and makes it feel fall like is all the fall florals so for the first side table i just added my wedding picture back there and then one of the floral arrangements that i made with the target dollar spot base and then on the other one i added that other one and I also added this fuzzy pumpkin that I got from the Target dollar spot. I wish I could have gotten more of these, but they were almost out. I just grabbed what I could. I love the Sherpa pumpkins. They are my favorite pumpkins throughout the house because they just add so much texture and variety to the regular pumpkins. For my mantle, I'm just switching out the taper candles with a brown colored one so it feels a little more fall-like. And then I'm going to be adding the larger amber vase to the other side that I made. I have to get over you again so now I'm just going to be adding table books and then a wooden pumpkin that I got from Home Goods. And I feel like this needs a garland, you guys. I'm still not an expert in decorating mantles. If you're new here, when we moved into this house, I told you guys that we actually DIY this mantle. We still have not attached it to the wall. I still have the footage, you guys, because I'm waiting till we actually attach it to the wall to give you guys a full video of me um well mostly my husband DIYing this the tile is DIY it's peel and stick actually we just DIY the whole thing um I'm battling now I'm just adding a garland that I got from home goods but yes yeah, so we DIY this and this is my first ever fireplace mantle that I ever had to decorate and I just feel like it's so hard to decorate them so I went a little simplistic but I think I'll maybe tweak it a bit um, throughout this season if I find something that catches my eye but overall it looks cozy and I like it I like it I just feel like it's missing something for my coffee table I'm just adding this wooden um, tray that I got from Amazon years back and then my floral arrangement that I made I'm also adding a candle from Hobby Lobby it's called buttery pumpkin it smells so good and they're half off so they're $19.99 well 40% off so they come out to like 12 bucks um, I'll try to link everything I can you guys down below but you know Hobby Lobby and then this glass pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby as well I added a white one just to 
offset all the orange and brown I got going on and then these leather pumpkins that I'm in love with I'm actually gonna head back to Hobby Lobby God willing this week to get the bigger leather pumpkins for the rest of my house but these are like filler and I just added them there I thought it looked nice and cozy and it just went with everything I'm in love with how the center of this came out and then for my DIY picture frames that I had I just added some principles that I printed off my regular printer I made them on bazaar and they're just orange with pumpkins and leaves leaves on them and I just thought I added some nice bit of color to that side of the wall. I actually want to put open shelving there. Um, we're working on that and then also in my blanket basket which is where I keep all my toys if again you're an OG here that's where people are like why is your living room always so clean? This is where I keep all of my daughter's toys as well as behind the couch I keep the bigger ones but I was undecisive on which throw and I ended up deciding on this one from Home Goods. heading into my bathroom so I'm just making floral arrangements for them um, the beige looking or cream colored vase is from Target I had that in my bathroom ready so I just pulled it and took the greenery out of it and then this brown one is from the Target dollar spot it came glass with some white paint on it and I just painted it brown in one of my fall DIY videos and I'm doing the same type of floral arrangements that I've had throughout my entire house with the dried florals the orange the purples all different types of colors it's kind of like a fall wildflower look and I just I'm in love with it I love incorporating all the colors not just one so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna head over to our bathrooms and I got some twinkly lights I got some wall decor that I also DIY'd and I love it. I just love the way everything turned out but just hold me now. I wanna be so much better whenever so this is my guest bathroom and I DIY this sign with my Cricut, a canvas, and some acrylic paint. So I'm just going to be replacing the one that I already had above my toilet area. And I know it's not perfect. I think um, the Farm Fresh Autumn sign that I made with my Cricut came out a little bit crooked. And But it's for a DIY sign. Um, I just, I'm in love and I was able to save money and it looked perfect above my toilet. I added some brown, some of that fall colors and I'm in love. And then for my guest bench, I'm just going to take out the greenery um, and then add one of the bud vases that I made along with some pumpkins and some twinkly lights that I got from Hobby Lobby, which I just think made it feel so cozy. And when guests are over, I could go ahead and turn that on. And when they go to the bathroom, it just will be a nice pop of fall and cozy vibes. The vanity that tray is from the Target dollar spot a few months ago and I'm just adding the floral arrangement to it and then a pumpkin scented candle from the Target dollar spot as well. Target dollar spot is where is that? And then for my upstairs bathroom because we use it so much and my daughter uses it so much I just added the um, floral arrangement and a pumpkin to the open shelving that we have above the toilet so that it's not in arm's reach of her and I just really didn't want to clutter the bathroom because we use it so much. I mostly wanted to do it for the guest bathroom, but that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you did because it helps me so, so much. And I will see you guys next week. We'll be doing my master bedroom, which is newly renovated. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.